It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was just scrolling around like Instagram and Pinterest and all that, and I saw the cloud trend you know with the cut crease and the eyes and the like on the face that stuff like i'll throw some pictures up here of what i'm talking about i've just been i've seen this trend for a while i know it's like kind of old i think it started kind of last year but i want to try it out because it looks super interesting what is this it looks super fun and super pastel and pastels are definitely in right now and i wanted to give this whole cloud trend a try feeling kind of artsy creative i don't know i want to do something more than just like a regular makeup look i feel like a lot of my looks lately have been very boring <laughs> so let's i wanted to do something kind of fun today so let's go ahead and get started with that oh i just noticed my nails are like super light pink which is gonna match so perfectly yeah let's just go ahead and get started i also just realized <laughs> i have literally brow gel in one eyebrow and not the other <laughs> can you tell the difference while i'm doing this i might as well just say if you're not already i would really appreciate if you considered subscribing to my channel i put out videos every week Sometimes twice a week, sometimes three times a week. Just depends on the week. <laughs> first things first, we're gonna prime the lids. I'm gonna use this white concealer. This is by Revolution. It is the Conceal and Correct Concealer. I wanna put like a white base down so everything kind of like really pops also so it covers up all my veins and everything. And I'm gonna start with the eyes, obviously. I mean, because we're here, we're doing it already. <laughs> okay, now while I'm letting that sit down a little bit, so I saw like two pictures that inspire me a lot. I'm gonna put them right here so you guys can see. Like, I think I'm gonna do kind of like a combination of these two with my own little twist i guess you could say i mean it's pretty much a combination of these two but uh also making it my own i don't have an eyeshadow palette where it has like all the different pastels so i'm gonna be dipping into a, a few different palettes So I really like how the one with like the orange lid has the clouds not as the cut crease but they're still there and really pretty like I really like the look of that but I like the coloring of the like pastel-y one where it has the cloud cut crease so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the crease um, but I'm not going to use orange I'm probably going to use like Maybe I will use like a neon pink. And to cut the crease again, I'm gonna use that white concealer. I think I need to go in and I need to do a little bit more of the pastel colors up here. I think the purple looks pretty good, but I think I need a little bit more of the pink. Actually, I do wanna add a little bit more purple right here. I think it would look kind of nice if I added some purple like right here on the lid as well maybe. Let's move on to the clouds. I'm not sure if I'm liking how this is looking, but let's uh, keep going for now. how i feel about this guys does it look cool on camera let's use some of this nyx pencil i'm gonna try to define it a little bit with some of this uh liquid liner i'm kind of nervous to use this because i don't want it to get crumbly but let's try Let's just do like one more, like right here. So 
So the last thing I want to add is like the little star details. Okay, we got one eye done. It's looking really good. And then I'm gonna throw some lashes on. These are Lily Lashes. I'm not sure the style. I forget the style, but these are these are from Lily Lashes. I'm gonna be using these. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick these on. I totally forgot to put mascara on before I put these lashes on. So I have one eye done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be back. Okay, you guys, I just finished the other eye and it looks so good. I think this looks so good. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup now. And then I'm also gonna be doing like the whole like, I'm gonna do all my little cheeks here. You know, make it like just like a whole all around like artsy look. So I'm gonna use the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation the foundation stick <laughs> really full coverage foundation stick i like to use this when i want to like cover up everything on my face i didn't use any primer i don't know why i just didn't put any primer on i don't know and for concealer i'm gonna use this jeffree star concealer this is the shade c c2 okay yeah i guess it is c2 um i just realized when i did my declutter i think i got rid of the wrong shade <laughs> it's fine it's fine yeah we'll just use this anyways it's super light but it's fine i'm just gonna add a little bit of this color pop on here too just so it's not insanely white And then i'm gonna set all of that down with this yate loose everyday vacay powder I don't normally put this much powder and stuff all over my face, but I really want it to be full coverage and really set down and everything so that way everything goes on top really nice. So for the face, I am gonna just do a little bit of like contouring bronzing kind of. This is just the um, Benefit, this is just the Benefit Butter Bronzer. Now is for the fun part. We're gonna add the color on the face. I think I'm gonna take it, so I'm gonna take it right here and up on my nose. Yes. I think I'm gonna use an actual blush to kind of get this part started and then I'll deepen it a little bit with some of the eyeshadow. This is the Lorac Color Source Buildable Blush in Luma. I'm gonna go pretty heavy. Like already looks so cute. It looks like I have like sunburn. <laughs> it's kind of cute though. I'm just gonna take some of that same pink that I put on the lid. I'm gonna tap it like onto the back of my hand, and then I wanna kind of just kind of like make it a little bit more like intense. Part of me kind of wanna add a little bit of purplish into it. Just don't wanna make it too intense. Maybe I'll do some purple like on the outer parts here. Purple in this controversy palette. Oh yeah, I like that. See, it like kind of gives some definition in a way. I don't know, it just gives it more dimension. I'm just gonna go back into the, that blush and kind of just blend everything together a little bit more. This blush has like a, it's like a satin finish. So it like has like a really pretty like sheen to it i really like the way this is looking okay i'm gonna keep using the jumbo eye pencil by nyx this is the shade milk i don't know if i said that earlier but it's just the white one and i'm gonna use this to create where i want to put the uh the clouds let's do one here i'm gonna define it a little bit more with the liner like i did on the lids after I kind of get like the base of the clouds down, like where I want them.
actually like how the clouds look so I'm not gonna define them but I am gonna go ahead and add some of the, like the stars all over the face now Let me do my brows and I'm gonna throw something on my lips. I'll be right back. Alrighty, you guys, this is the finished look. Super excited. I think it looks super cool. And I like really like how this turned out. Can't wait to go take pictures and post it on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I surely enjoyed creating this. I needed to do this so bad because I haven't done anything super creative in a long time. And it kind of just opens up the creativity box. And that's what I'm all about here. Like I love makeup as art. I feel good when I'm, I'm creative and so yeah i'm really excited about this anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining or soothing since it's such a dreamy and nice look i didn't do a whole lot of talking i really focused on like the look here because you know what this look deserves all the attention it can get because it's so pretty there's so many of these awesome looks like all over pinterest and instagram so like definitely check instagram and pinterest if you're really into this kind of look because there's so many awesome artists out there that have created their own version of this and i'll list the people that i used like as inspo down below the description box i just realized i didn't do anything to my lower lashes at all thank you guys so 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 much for watching if you're not already i would really appreciate if you considered subscribing to my channel i post videos every week and i hope to see you guys in my next video bye